Good morning boys and girls, it's Teacher Selenia. And today, I'm gonna read you one of my favorite stories. This is called Eric Carl, The Tiny Sea. Eric Carl, The Tiny Sea. It is autumn. A strong wind is blowing. It blows flower seeds high in the air and carries them far across the land. One of the seeds is tiny. It is smaller than any of the others. Will it be able to keep up with the others? And where are they all going? One of the seeds flies higher than the others. Up it goes, it flies so high and the sun's hot rays burn it. But the tiny seed sails on with the others. Another seed lands on a tall icy mountain. <coughs> the ice never melts and the seed cannot grow. The rest of the seeds fly on, but the tiny seed does not go as fast as the Now they fly over the ocean. One seed falls into the water, the other sail on the wind, but the tiny seed does not go as high as the others. One seed drifts down into the, onto the desert. It is hot and dry and the seeds cannot grow. Now the tiny seed is flying very low, but the wind pushes it on with the others. Finally, the wind stops and the seeds fall gently down on the ground. A bird comes by and eats one seed. The tiny seed is not eaten. It is so small that the bird does not see it. Now it is winter. After their long trip, the seeds settle down. They look as if they are going to sleep in the earth. Snow falls and covers them like a soft white blanket. A hungry mouse that lives in the ground eats a seed for its, his lunch. But the tiny seed lies very still and the mouse does not see it. Now it is spring. After a few months, the snow has melted. Birds fly by, the sun shines, rain falls, the seeds grow so round and full, they start to burst open. Now they are plants. First they send roots down into the earth, then their stems and leaves begin to grow up toward the sun. There's another plant that grows much faster than the new little plants. It is a big fat weed and it takes all the sunlight and the rain away from one of the small new plants. The tiny seed has not begun to grow yet. It will be too late. Hurry! But finally, it too starts to grow into a plant. The warm weather also brings children out to play. They too have been waiting for the springtime. One child does not see the plants as he runs along and, oh, he breaks one. Now it cannot grow anymore. The tiny plant grew from the tiny seed. It's growing fast, but its neighbor grows even faster. Before the tiny plant has three leaves, the other plants has seven. And look, a bud, and not even a flower. But what is happening? First there are footsteps, then a shadow, then the hand reaches down and breaks off the flower. A boy has picked a flower to give to a friend. It is summer, not the tiny plant from the tiny seed is all alone. It grows on and on. The sun shines on it and the rain waters it. It has many leaves. It grows taller and taller. It is taller than the people. It is taller than the tree. It is taller than the house. And now a flower grows on it. People come from far and near to look at this flower. It is the tallest flower they have ever seen.
All summer long, the birds and bees and butterflies come visiting. They have never seen such a big and beautiful flower. Now it is autumn again. These days uh, grow shorter, the nights grow long and cooler. The wind carries yellow and red leaves past the flower. Some petals drop from the giant flower. They sail along the bright leaves over the land and down to the ground. The wind blows harder. The flower has lots all of its petals. It sways and bends away from the wind. But the wind grows stronger and shakes the flower. Once more, the wind shakes the flower and it, this time the flower seed pots open. Out come many tiny seeds that quickly sail far away on the wind. What do you think is going to happen to those tiny seeds that are selling far, far away? Let me know. Please leave a comment below. See you next time.